Hey fellow Fright Fiends, uh, thanks for dropping by the Horror Zone. Uh, this was a very unplanned video, uh, but this morning I found out that, that the amazing, the talented, the iconic Sid Haig uh, passed away this past Saturday, September the 21st, at the age of 80 years old. Um, I don't know all the details about his death, but I know he was battling health issues. He was recently hospitalized a couple of weeks ago, um, seemed to be doing better, uh, but unfortunately he didn't make it. Uh, his wife, Susan Oberg, uh, posted on uh, the Instagram, his Instagram page, his official Instagram page, that he passed away Saturday. Um, he was 80 years old. He just celebrated his 80th birthday in July of this year. And before House of a Thousand Corpses, I really didn't know who Sid Haig was. Uh, after seeing him as the amazing Captain Spaulding in that movie, uh, and of course in The Devil's Rejects, as well as other movies that I've seen him in, like Bone Tomahawk, uh, the remake of Halloween, Hatchet 3, he was on Holliston, uh, can't name it, he was in so many things, uh, such an iconic actor, worked with some of the, some of the great directors of our times, uh, just uh, a true gentleman from what I've heard from people that have met him at cons. I loved uh, the appearances that he made on Adam Green's uh, Scary Sleepover and then the Christmas special that was a couple of years back. He also did an episode of uh, Adam Green's Horrified where he talked about his father. A very sad episode uh, that really touched me and moved me and showed, showed me how much heart uh, Haig had and uh, what a good human being he was. Um, I've heard that even as his, uh, he got more popular because of the Captain Spaulding character in the Rob Zombie movies, uh, that uh, even at the conventions after he started getting more, you know, notoriety and more people coming to see him, that he never changed uh, his asking price for uh, autographs and, and pictures. It just shows what a good person he was and that he really appreciated the fans. Um, I've heard nothing but great stories about him and I, I unfortunately never got to meet him. I really wanted to. Um, I love the Captain Spaulding character. I just love Sid as a person. Uh, really got to know him through, like I said, the scary sleepover, which was on the more comical side, but that episode of Horrified is is really, really sad, and I will link those uh, down below. So another legend from the horror family has left us. Um, I want to say uh, my condolences to his family, his widow, his friends, his, fan, his, his fans, his colleagues, everybody that he touched um, in his life of 80 years. And uh, I thank everyone for taking the time to watch this. If you happen to have met uh, Sid uh, at a con, um, please uh, let me know down below what it was like. Uh, like I said, I'm really saddened that I never got to meet him. But uh, I really respected the man and... Uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty sad way to start the week hearing this this very sad news. Uh, but he lived a good 80 years. Um, I hope that I hope he's at peace now. And uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Peace. I have a Patreon page. If everybody wants to help support me, the link is down below. And if you do help support me, Dracula here will get more treats. And Dracula really loves his treats. So any support that you can give me would be very, very much appreciated. Right, Drac? <laughs>